Have you ever wondered what the most powerful earthquake ever recorded was? Let's travel back in time to May 22nd, 1960, precisely at 3.11 in the afternoon. The setting is off the coast of southern Chile, where the ground trembled with a staggering magnitude of 9.5. To put that into perspective, the energy released was equivalent to 32 billion tons of TNT. Imagine the destructive power of over a thousand Hiroshima atomic bombs combined. Unfathomably, this is the scale we're dealing with when we talk about the 1960 Valdivia earthquake. This seismic event didn't just happen out of the blue, though. It was the result of tectonic activity, specifically the subduction of the Nazca plate under the South American plate. This massive earthquake was caused by the movement of tectonic plates, a fundamental process that shapes our Earth. To understand the magnitude of this earthquake, we need to delve into the cause. The 1960 Valdivia earthquake was born from the subduction of the Nazca plate under the South American plate, a process occurring along the Chile-Peru trench. Imagine two colossal plates of the Earth's crust grinding and pushing against each other. The oceanic Nazca plate, being denser, was forced to dive beneath the continental South American plate. This tectonic struggle created intense pressure over centuries, until finally, it was too much. On that fateful day in May, a long segment of the fault, about 900 kilometers, ruptured. The seafloor was displaced by several meters, releasing the pent-up energy of ages. It's like a giant spring suddenly uncoiling, unleashing a shockwave that reverberated throughout the Earth's crust. This enormous geological event triggered a tsunami of catastrophic proportions. The earthquake set off a tsunami that sped across the Pacific Ocean. A wall of water, it reached breathtaking speeds of up to 500 miles per hour. The tsunami's power was just as impressive as its speed. In Chile, it towered to a staggering height of 82 feet. As it spread across the Pacific, it still reached significant heights, 33 feet in Hawaii, 20 feet in Japan, and 13 feet in New Zealand. The tsunami's reach was as devastating as its height and speed. It claimed the lives of over 200 people and caused extensive damage to many coastal areas. Entire communities were swept away, leaving only the eerie remnants of homes and buildings. The destruction was a stark reminder of nature's power and the vulnerability of coastal regions to such disasters. The earthquake also led to various secondary effects, some of which were just as devastating. The earthquake didn't just stop at shaking the ground and triggering a tsunami. It also kicked off a series of secondary effects, ranging from landslides and ground liquefaction to the creation of fissures and even volcanic eruptions. Imagine the ground beneath your feet turning to liquid or a gaping hole suddenly opening up. These were realities for many in the wake of the quake, but perhaps the most notable secondary effect was the volcanic eruption at Cordon Call. Just two days after the quake, this volcano sprang to life and erupted for several months. It spewed out a gigantic plume of ash and gas that reached a staggering 15 kilometers high, dramatically altering the region's climate. So you see, the Valdivia earthquake wasn't just a seismic event, it was a geological phenomenon that had far-reaching and multifaceted impacts. This earthquake had a significant impact on the field of seismology and geology. The Valdivia earthquake was a wake-up call for the world. This seismic event was not only devastating, but also profoundly influential in the spheres of seismology and geology. It was a stark reminder of the enormity and complexity of the subduction process as well as the potential hazards of megathrust earthquakes and tsunamis. The earthquake's unprecedented magnitude and its widespread effects sparked an urgency in the scientific community. It prompted new research initiatives leading to significant advancements in our understanding of the Earth's tectonic activities. Moreover, it inspired the establishment of monitoring programs worldwide aimed at predicting and preparing for future seismic events. The Valdivia earthquake was indeed a turning point. It changed the way we perceive, study and respond to the powerful forces that shape our planet. The lessons learned from this event continue to guide our efforts in mitigating the impact of natural disasters. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more amazing stories from the earthquake zone. See you next time.